This weekend, Vice President Biden called a group of Trump supporters chumps. Even if he loses, Trump isn't going anywhere, and neither are his fervent supporters. How exactly do you plan on bringing the temperature down in this country? And beyond being the president for everyone, can you name something that you and Joe will do to reach out to Trump supporters? Yeah, that's a great point, Sarah, and thank you. We have to bring the temperature down. And, you know, frankly, I think we've seen far too much chaos even before the pandemic and, 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 and the fear, um, the anxiety, it, it's undeniable. And, you know, John, this, when we're looking at, at what we need in terms of leadership, Joe is someone who really will restore calm. And by the way, we don't do things like those chumps out there with a the microphone are doing the Trump guys. And from the beginning, it has been his mission to lead in a way that we will heal and bring our country together. Joe says all the time, he will be a president for all Americans. And you can trust him on that if you just look at Joe's record. Um, and in fact, we're very proud of the fact that we've probably built one of the broadest coalitions of any campaign. We've got, of course, Democrats, but Republicans, independents, from Cindy McCain to, to Colin Powell, um, it, it, people across the spectrum. And I think it's because we all know, listen, we have to approach the biggest issues that our country is facing in a way that understands they're not even bipartisan, they're nonpartisan. The, so reaching out to Trump... To reaching out to Trump supporters includes reaching out around what they need to put food on their table, what they need in terms of job security. On Joe Biden's first day in office, he killed thousands of American jobs. Joe Biden killed hundreds of Wisconsin jobs. Joe Biden's decision makes us more dependent on the Middle East, more dependent on Russia, more dependent on Venezuela for our supply of energy. What we, what we all need in terms of investment in infrastructure and job creation and, and strengthening the economy of our country, all Americans will benefit from this. And it is our intention to lead if we win in a way that is not about partisanship. It's not about who you voted for in the last election. It's about where we need to go as a country. And, um, and, and I promise you, the, the issues that we are facing right now, like this virus, could care less who people voted for in the election. It is an equal opportunity um, predator, frankly, and we need to address it, understanding that the American people deserve so much better. Well, the new administration's decision to stop border wall construction has forced crews to put down tools. This kills me. And walk away in the middle of work. By the way, this is a wall we already paid for. A decision that one Arizona sheriff says left behind a roadway for smugglers. Sheriff Mark Daniels is in charge of Cochise County, which covers 83 miles of the U.S.-Mexican border. He joins us now. Sheriff, we paid for the wall to be built, along with the technology and along with the roads. Now we're paying to move the wall, store the wall, or destroy destroy the wall. And guess what? The illegals, according to what you're telling us, are actually using it to get into the country. In what way? Well, good morning, Brian. It's, it's a product, product of politics within policing. And I've always said this, that has no business in our business, in the business of policing and what we do on this border in our communities. They, when President Biden rescinded the emergency order on the southwest border, it stopped resources and stopped construction on our border. As a result of that, uh, one area where the fence is not complete, we get five or six groups a day coming across there. Uh, it's opened up the border. It opened up the mess okay to come in this country. This administration owns this decision. And what it's doing is it's forcing us back to 2019, where we had the largest, what I call, crime scene in the country to include the largest humanitarian uh, situation going on.